Today we're reviewing the Mighty Mouse. Well, not that Mighty Mouse, but the new Apple Mighty Mouse. It comes in two different flavors, wired or wireless. If you go to Apple sites, you'll note that this mouse gets 3 out of 5 stars and a bunch of 1s and 2s, noting that the mouse ball on this thing breaks or fails after a couple months. It's been about 3 months of use, and I am ready to voice my opinion on this mouse. The mouse ball feels certainly neat. Have you ever fingered your girlfriend's? Never mind. It can be used as a button as well. And the side button on the mouse can be useful. And if you're a left-hander, no need to worry, because there's a button on the other side just for you. Underneath the mouse, you will find the optical laser, and you will find the mouse button. And as always, you seem to get a pretty short cord with all your Apple mouses, so use the keyboard. Once the mouse is hooked up, you'll get a nice little preference panel, which you can assign any button you want. Remember, this mouse is a two-button mouse. One of the problems people seem to find is, when you use the left or right side of the mouse, make sure that your other finger is up, because even the slightest pressure can confuse this mouse. And Apple seem to get their design right again, because if you notice, most people set their palms directly on the table and not on the mouse. If you find yourself picking up your mouse, that means your sensitivity is too damn low, so raise it up. And I'm also tired of people doing this. Set your damn palm on the table and use the mouse how it's intended to be used, asshole! And sometimes, I think the side mouse button needs a little bit too much pressure. And, don't even use this side mouse button unless you're left-handed, otherwise you'll just wind up pissing yourself off. And to be honest, I didn't really care for this mouse for gaming, but then I remembered that you had to keep one finger on the mouse at all times, so then it wasn't too bad. It's actually pretty decent. So my conclusion is that it's not necessarily the best mouse around, and if you're a gamer, you're going to want the multi-button mouse, but it's really not a bad mouse. And I tend to think Apple's on the right track because they've implemented a right mouse button while still keeping that one mouse button look. My mouse ball hasn't failed me yet, but I think the time will come soon. So while a decent mouse, I think it's a little bit too pricey for what it's really worth. So when this mouse comes in with your Mac, enjoy it because it's a great mouse. But if you're going to go out and spend $60, I think you can spend it on something a little bit better. But there's one thing we can all admit, is that Apple's getting on the right track with implementing a right mouse button. 